to start, can you just introduce yourself? Yeah, and definitely. Your major and your class here. Yeah, so my name is Kristen Cooney. I am a junior. It sounds crazy. I feel like freshman year was yesterday. Um, I am an environmental studies and art double major with a museum studies minor. My favorite museum? Oh, that's a tough question. Can it be one I've never been to? Sure. Okay. No okay. Um, so there's this museum in Japan. Um, I forgive me if I'm wrong on the exact translation. It's called like a fish aquarium museum, but they make these really elaborate tank designs based off like Edo period, um, like art and like prints. Um, you probably would know the piece, The Great Wave, of course, like that's from that period. So that style of art, um, and they make tanks for koi fish. And there's just like hundreds of thousands of koi fish in every exhibition, or goldfish rather. Um, and it's just like this really interesting merger of art um, art history and, you know, nature, environmental studies types of things. So um, I'd like to visit there. I think that's maybe one of my favorites. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess so ever since I was a little kid, I've been going to museums. I think the Please Touch Museum specifically, I, I went there so much as a kid. I just, I really enjoy learning um, and I guess just education in general. And I really like the museum format. I think it applies to a lot of different subjects, even if we don't always see it that way with things like national parks and stuff like that. Um, and I have a deep interest in nature and I think like natural history museums, I just find a lot of value in those types of, I guess, like places. We're a pretty small team of three students and we all have pretty different backgrounds. I think that's part of where the challenge is. They are both history majors um, among other things and that's the perspective or the route that they like to take. I, I am more familiar with the art history realm, so that's more the route I like know how to take, if that makes sense. Um, and I think as much as that's been challenging, there's a lot of value in learning about these other perspectives and you know finding ways to apply that from now on for other projects I work on and things like that. So yeah, it's been positive. It was a little different than expected, actually. I wasn't. Um, I, I'm lucky enough to be a student worker at the Berman, so I'm like, cool, like, I'll be kind of familiar with what we're doing, but it was a lot more conceptual and different than I thought it was going to be. Um, it was challenging, but there's a lot of value in challenging things, I think, so. What did you find challenging? Um, I think things like the interpretive text. I mean, working as a group trying to formulate, you know, a really specific direction for a piece, a really, a pretty short piece of text. Um, it's kind of difficult, but I think working through all of it, you learn a lot more about a, a piece of artwork than I probably will about any other piece of artwork ever because I've spent so long thinking about it. Um, Dr. Barkin put it in words, I think she said something along the lines of, you were probably the one group of people to think the most about this like art piece strata ever, so it kind of, it's kind of special in that way. Like it's something I'm not gonna forget about, you know? It's been really cool to meet Shannon in person for the first time. Of course, you know, the conditions of the pandemic, everything's a bit different, but you know, she's been very excited about it and that kind of, um, that's contagious. So I get excited too, seeing the artist get excited about her work. And I mean, being a working artist myself too, like it's really interesting to see how artists in contemporary museums like operate and how they think and their methodology. Um, and this week, I am taking a lot of recordings of campus, but I've mostly been focusing on Hunsberger Woods, which is a sort of parcel of land off of campus, about across the street. It's on 9th Avenue. Um, and the Environmental Studies Department does some research and things there, and the public can go there and walk their dogs and stuff. I've just been taking a ton of sound clips, um, and I'm hoping to talk to Shannon sort of, you know, about her reactions to them and just her personal connection to, like, natural spaces and things like that. Because um, I think that's a really big facet of Strata. And I just, I'd be interested in hearing what she has to say more on, on the personal note of things. And, you know, maybe even get student reactions to put in there in case, you know, if anyone wants to be, I think it'd be interesting to get students involved in the conversation to, um, you know, have their, their thoughts and words like literally in it would be cool too. I think my biggest takeaway from Strata is sort of the collaborative conceptual work that we all have to do as a team and not just individually. 
Like when I go and look at an art piece, it can be, you know, my mind can run free. It's whatever I'm thinking of in my head. But when you're working with a team, there's, there's a really interesting, but I think healthy, like tension between um, how everyone wants to approach it and how they think we should, you know, show, show it to the world. How should we want viewers to approach it? Um, that's something that I never really thought about, even though I was a student worker and I've, you know, I've helped with installations, like physical installations um, and like public programming and things a little bit too. That's not something that I really encountered yet and I haven't really anticipated, like I didn't anticipate that coming in. So I think that's something that will stick with me. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah.